Warning, the following video may contain images not suited for a younger audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Adventure. So, uh, there's been a lot of updates since I, I want to say December 2nd. So, um, I think the creator Shark Tank or Shark Labs, that sounds about right. Uh, they've done a whole bunch of updates. For starters, um, oh right, I also synced my game, so now I synced to my phone. So, before, in terms of, from my experience, the better class, the best class is the Paladin for survivability, followed by the Shaman, followed by a bit of a mix between the Warrior and the Assassin, they were kind of, they're kind of on the same boat. Then, the Ranger, the Necromancer, the Druid, kind of fell near the bottom there and lastly was the wizard because the wizard just had no way of living I know what you guys are thinking well it's a wizard it's not supposed to survive it's supposed to blow things up quickly yeah before the wizard couldn't even do that there's just no because remember magic is only buffs and debuffs however past that there's no actual damage or there wasn't really any good damage because some enemies can pretty much just brush off the poison, the burn, so that kind of made the wizard really obsolete for its uh, passive ability of every time you play a magic card, gain one energy point. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do this on normal just so that you guys know uh, what's here for the wizard. And yeah, you unlock him at level two. So. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is we have some different artwork. So the heart's been changed, the money symbol's been changed, the gem actually looks like a freaking gem now. And we also have this little icon now. Which, finally, we have a map! So when we, whenever we go to stores, we can actually look at the map, see what else is coming up. Uh, we weren't able to do that before. Uh, the other thing is, they've lowered the card limit, thank god, from 10 cards back down to 8. Which is really good because the other extra card, two extra cards, that just cluttered up everything and just made certain characters incredibly weak, like the wizard. Even though it was already pretty bad. They also changed the map. Um, it seems I didn't get a new map layout here, so. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, so I don't know what to do about that internet situation, but oh well. So yeah, the wizard. Every time you play a magic card, uh, you get an energy point, and the point, or sorry, and the energy points are for this energy golem here. Uh, I know the text is too small to read. Uh, deal damage to all enemies equal to the energy points. Gain one mana and gain overcharge at the end of the turn. So yeah, I'm assuming they put the overcharge in here because during beta. You probably could have just duplicated this card, have a very small deck, and just infinitely win without consequences from the energy golem. Um, the attack golem here has gone through a couple changes. Initially, it just did 5 damage. Now it does 4 damage. However, it's been changed to that deal an additional 4 damage for each energy or sphere of energy activated. And the energy spheres are for the upgrade talent. And then, what's interesting about the wizard is the mud golems. The mud golems, before the update, used to just do deal 2 damage and gain 3 shield. And this was the big reason why the wizard had very little survivability and, in my opinion, was one of the worst classes. Because you would just gain... Like, you would deal damage, which is fine, but you would only gain 3 shield. And even here, you can see, a lot of the enemies can pretty much just bypass your shield unless you just go all in on the defense. Uh, what the creators have done is now you can they, now the mud golems apply too weak, which is really good. Oh, um, I also forgot to mention that this is a random target. So there we go. Back. Nope. Okay. So uh, what you really want to do is just play two magic cards and then just play the en energy golem just for that extra buff. And then there we go. Yeah. So now we. Probably so it's like, it's two damage difference, but, yeah. 
still all good. So yeah, the apply weak with the, the defense makes the wizard much more reliable. Oh, also this is where, you, where I said before where you need to start kind of checking your draw pile just to see like where is the energy golem or like how far away is he, how many more points of mana do you have because really this all just depends on like the wizard just depends on the energy golems and the mud golems the attack golems or I think they're stone golems they just don't matter as much because like they don't actually get any damage in before until you upgrade your hat so don't feel bad about deleting these guys here. Okay, let's see. Class-wise, oh, definitely not that one. Uh, the robots could be a way you might want to go. Beastmen's also good. Um, hmm, kind of a tough choice here. The robot's nice because combat, but also gives you a choice of you can. You could potentially get shields, or you could just deal damage. And this boosts some other uh, robot effects, or um, a burning effect that I really like. Mm, that could do it. Uh, beastmen, the strength. Not really good unless we're going for beastmen, which kind of... There's some anti-synergy with, the with the magic there. Just because most of the beastmen are all combat, except for the ant wizard. It's good defense, but not so good. So I'm going to go for robots. Okay, let's see. Okay, the lions. Yeah, nothing too new. Um, let's see. Full defense, just deal 7 damage on that guy. There's the energy golem. Sorry, one in three chance he's not he's not the energy golem. Or rather two out of three chance. Good. Yeah, two out of three chance he's not the energy golem. Hmm. Yeah. One of the only problems it with the Relotron is this positioning right here. <laughs> it's like he only attacks if the enemy is not attacking, but if he's attacking, you want it to be it's going to be defending you. And then you get to these situations where it's like, uh, I could have killed them. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so. Uh, something that I've experimented with. The remove status. Originally, I thought the remove status was it goes out of your deck. And then it's just completely gone. No, what the remove status does is it prevents... It prevents you from... Um, the card being exiled, so you can't bring it back. There are certain cards, <clears throat> I think you guys have seen it before, there are certain cards that bring exile cards back into your deck, and then you can just use it again. So um, certain cards, like that one, pro were probably abused, so that's why they had the remove status. And in case you guys don't remember, um, what the Paralyzing Spider does is... Oh, wait. Upon taking a down, the creature will apply one block. Okay. Before this thing used to be apply one silence. I guess it changed. Oh no, the energy goal. Alright, and they also changed the... Um, did some extra artwork here. Apply we. 
week, just in case, or for future. Like, we're gonna kill him. We didn't make a Ooh, Priestess. That could be good. Another Beastman. Fire. Ah, jeez. Ugh. This robot thing that I've been trying to go for is looking really bad. <sighs> My goodness. It is just looking terrible choice. Terrible choice. Yeah. B. <laughs> the bees. I want to kill these side ones. There we go. That's good. Hit the same thing. Or hit the same B twice. Okay. Actually, I should have paid more attention. I could have dealt seven damage. Oh, well. Well, wasn't gonna be able to fully defend there anyways, unless I got the <sighs> Gorilla Tron. But oh well. And then try to There's the Angie Golem again! Oh. Yeah, as the wizard, you really do rely heavily on the energy golem. Just because it's your main source of damage, but also because it gives you mana back. Uh, one of the nice things is that the Angel Golem ignores weakness, so as you saw, I just dealt 12 damage. So I'll take one point of damage here just to have killed that other guy. Save me three health. Ranger, do not want. Fallen Angel, deal 17 damage, lose 3 health. Oh my god. I'm being punished for not going beastmen here. It's like, we passed by 4 beastmen. Fairy Queen. I don't know if it's a good. Can I get free coin? No, I cannot. I don't know how to. How to get that on this thing. Oh, so, uh, one of the things that have changed is the extra service counter. So over here, you can gain 100 coin once only, so pay for four, and this is a one-time thing. Uh, you have a card reroll, so you can pay one of your gems to reroll the cards in the shop. I don't have enough money, so I probably don't want to. Reroll skills, so... Not that we could afford any of the skills. So I could grab this, but it's not really worth using the five. I'd rather save it. Then a power attack, can power defense. Not that great with the wizard. Yeah. Hold off on that, because there's another shop coming up here, and plus there's a chest. Yeah, it's a golden chest. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. How do I turn on on... It's weird, blue stack. My internet's on, but blue stack just doesn't want to do it. Later the night, can't use it. Uh, Wizard of Poison, double the enemy's poison and exile this. On paper, it sounds nice, but really, there's not a lot of cards that actually can stack poison really well. There's only like one beastman card, and everything else is just kind of a baseline. So, this one kind of falls a bit short, in my opinion. Treasure map. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, I, I don't see anything else. I could grab the coin, but let's reroll the cards. Ah, lava boulder. This is what I was actually hoping to grab. So lava boulder. Apply three burn. Deal damage. E deal damage to target equal to its burn value. So that's after it applies the three. This is a very good because. Um, I'm trying to get the flamethrower robot, so I will happily grab that. That was my plan for this build. Unfortunately, I haven't found any robots or the flamethrower robot. Here's a new enemy, Goblin Hordes. Or Forest Goblins. This enemy is not alone. Defeat enemies until the counter reaches zero to beat this floor. 
So six of them will come out. Really sucks. Because you're basically trying to beat an enemy that has... Oh, let's see, six by twelve. So that's like... Actually, that's nine by twelve. What am I saying? That's 108 health you have to get rid of. So, you really want AoE. So, like, there's multiple reasons why it sucks fighting the goblins. Number one, there's three of them. Number two, when they die, the statuses don't stick around, so it makes it really annoying. Ick. Okay, I got three, and they're all attacking. Do that so that the energy golem can wipe out this half. Okay, only taking one damage here. That's, that's good. Yeah. I will say this much: if it w the wizard's probably one of the few characters that could I can um, take on this group easily. I'm gonna get hit by two anyways, but I might as well lower the horde. Because I could have dealt three damage, but either way, I would have gotten hit afterwards, so it really didn't matter in the long run there. And also, better to get the counter up. One, two. This will kill everybody! No, oh, really? God dang it. I thought. Eh, never mind. Die. <laughs> Okay, now we just need an energy goal and we can just wipe out this entire group. And it should be one of the next cards. No? I guess not. Okay. Let's just do heavy damage. Because really, it's over next turn. Because energy golem, we're at 15. And there's no more goblin hordes. Bye. Young fighter, do not want bang bots. Yeah, no. And if the fighter has burn deal eight damage, that's too situational for me. Plus, like eight instead of four is not really. I don't see the benefit. Come on, flamethrower. Nope. Witch of flame, double the enemy's burn. Because I'm going for the. For a fire base, this could be really good. I don't have enough money for it, even if I if I watch could watch a video. My prayers have been answered. I'm cutting this out. <laughs>